and working with your wife. I oh, know, yeah. It's, it's great, because yeah, you met great. working together, didn't you? We did. It's very showbiz, I know, but I was Buttons <laughs> and she was Cinderella. Ah, perfect. So 2005. What a lovely story to tell the children. Well, they like, yeah, the kids like that. Yeah, that's nice for the, for the it's kids. It's lovely. You know. It's interesting, though, that you say that going on Celebrity Big Brother, because that's a big gamble to go mm. on that. And We saw you in the start of the year. But you came out of that really well, Darren. You really did. You, you. Were, you were called Thank a role you. model, which I, I know meant a lot to you. Yeah, I mean, I, more than anything, really, mm. of, of all the things that happened during that, um, that 31 days. Long 31 long days. 31 days. <laughs> I know. But of all the things that happened, yeah, when I got voted the... The best role model. Like, I, I, I know it's only a reality show. Doesn't I know matter, it's not real no. life as yeah. such, but it meant an awful lot to me because it was publicly voted. Mm. And um, you know, there was a time, as we all know, uh, that I that I wasn't any kind of role model. And the fact that things are very, very different now, and the fact that the public perceived me as a role model, yeah. that meant and means a lot to me. Well, look, we've, we've grown up with you. I mean, I, I think I must have interviewed you <laughs> many times. You're going way back to the late 80s, early 90s, that, mm. that we've, we've spoken many, many times. And, you know, we've seen you at your best and at your worst mm. as well, haven't we? Yeah. And, and the trouble is, as well, Darren, you get a label round your neck, which you did, you know, yeah. love that. How on earth are you supposed to live that down? It's very difficult. Yeah. Tough, yeah. And, and mm. I mean, to be quite honest with you, the the, the, the the reason for going into the house was because I just wanted to have the opportunity to show the British public and the British media where I was at now, for them sure. to judge me upon now as opposed to judge me upon the old tabloid image. Mm. And you know, when your children are getting at a certain age where they go on the computer, the thing is, if you Google me now, all the dodgy stuff is still there, but it's way down. Good. <laughs> so there's some good stuff that comes some good up first. Stuff at the so, top. But yeah. you're right, they're going to be looking at that, and that's a hard conversation to sit and have with your kids, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, um, it's it, of course it is. And, uh, and they're, they're all at an age really where things may be said in the playground. Of course. But now, you know, now nice things are said. Like my, 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 my eldest boy said to me recently, he said, Oh, my, my friend says, Oh, your dad's a bit of a ledge. Now, a ledge. Um, now, <laughs> There you go. What's um, changed then? Is it finding somebody that you're very, very happy with? Yeah. I mean, like, is that what it is? You know, like, like, uh, you know, my life has drastically changed now. I mean, like, lifestyle changed. You know, I, I, I live my life very, very yeah, differently. You don't party. You don't, don't do all no, that No, nothing. Stuff, no? I mean, no, nothing. I don't drink. I don't... I even gave up smoking recently. Well so, done. So, I mean, nothing. Well done. That's hard. Nothing at all. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, I try and be... A, a good husband and a good father and, and I don't know it sounds a bit I don't know what it sounds but I try and be a good man you know, mm. and uh, in life in general and the great thing is Lorraine is personally I'm very happy and also career wise you know I'm very very busy there's lots going on I'm doing this play with my wife at the moment playing this iconic role in this iconic 80s film Rita Sue and Bob 2 then Next year, I'm going back to Greece. I don't. You came. To see I remember Greece. seeing you yeah. in Greece way back in the day. I mean, ago. I think my, my baby girl was probably about five years old or Good something. God, there you and go. I, yeah. I remember oh God, that. There that you quiz. are. There you are. Yeah. And and so, so, gosh, that's really completing the circle, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. And when you wow. do a show like that, you think, well, that's ticked off. You're never going to go back to that. And then suddenly, I'm going back in as the role of teen angel. And so yes. now, my children and my wife, you know, my family, are going to come and see Daddy in a show that he was quite a big part of my Absolutely, career. Absolutely, of course it was. And, and I'm it working was. for the same producers, David Ian, who was a good pal of mine as well, and so it's exciting. I've got pantomime coming up. I haven't done pantomime for, for, for a few years. I'm at the Bradford Alhambra playing Captain Hook, and my kids can come and see me do that. So Excellent. the things that I'm suddenly doing again now that I haven't mm. done for a while, you know, the last time I did them, my children haven't seen Daddy do that stuff. Sure. My, my, my boys especially are very excited about me playing a villain. <laughs> I'm playing Captain Hook, you know. Well, oh, that's a cracker to do. Yeah. And is it better this time? Are you more appreciative this time, round? Oh, and, right. and and you've had to rebuild up bridges as well. You know, you've had to yeah. do all of that, yeah. but and do that takes time. It does, and it has taken. You know, it's been, it's been a. You know, it's the last decade, eleven years. Mm. It's been. I've worked hard. Yeah. I've worked hard both career-wise and and personally, mm. and. Um, and, well, I suppose you could say that it finally feels, to me, it finally feels like all that hard work is paying off. And I appreciate every single thing that happens to me. You know, every person that buys a ticket to come and see my show, my shows, or, or you know, everybody that takes the time to make a nice comment to me in the street, every little thing. The first time around, it goes so quickly. Yeah. And it's all a bit too mad, and you can't take it in, and you fall well for me, you know. I've, I probably fell down every pitfall there was to fall down. But once you've been down them, mm. then hopefully you don't go down anymore. And 
I appreciate everything that happens to me now. And That's I really great. genuinely, I'm not just saying I genuinely No, 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 really I, can, I can tell. And yeah. also, I think people are very forgiving. You know, obviously, if you've made mistakes, goodness me, we've all made mistakes in our lives, haven't we? But mm -hmm. if you've made mistakes, and it's how you deal with that. And for a while, you weren't dealing with it very well. No, I wasn't. You were daft, no. you know, you were. But now you ha you've sorted it. I'm yeah. so glad that it's, Thank you. I, it's, it's the love of a good woman as well. well it is, you <laughs> you know, know, Steph, and the children yeah, too. Yeah, and I have a too. wonderful wife and mm. beautiful children. You know, they, they, I have such a great family around me now and I'm hugely grateful for that. And great. Yeah, and, and life is good, you know, and uh, uh, you know, when life is good, that's, well, that's what we're all trying to Absolutely. achieve, isn't it? If you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here. There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe.